Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Tell me, how was your weekend? Fine. Excellent. Fine. Resting home. Wow, that's really nice. Excellent. I really like that. Honestly, mine was kind of busy. I had to work all Saturday and yesterday, Sunday. Uh, it's been busy as well, too. Okay, and tell me, what do you remember about our last class? What did we study? Do you remember? Professions. Okay. And what else? Um, Besides professions, what else did, did we study? No, you don't remember? Do we and das? And das? Okay, thank you. Yes, that was something else that we were studying. The auxiliary is do and does. And when did we say we're going to use do? I, you. Okay, I, you. They. We, they. Okay, excellent. We and they. And thus is going to be used with? Third person. Okay, in the third person, which are? He, Perfect. she, it. Okay, excellent. He, she, and it. Perfect. Um, okay. I remember that if I'm not mistaken, we were also talking about the rules that we are going to apply when we're talking in third person singular, right? Or not? Estuvimos hablando también de las reglas de tercera persona que vamos a usar cuando hacemos oraciones afirmativas. Veamos, ¿cuáles son? En español, es, okay. usamos ese, eh, para las terceras personas, usamos agregarles ES a las que terminan en CH, SH, SS, X o Z. Ok, excelente. What else? That, that is one. What was the También, second one? Excuse me. También example. todos los verbos que terminan en Y se les agrega IS. Mm, pero, ¿cuál es la regla en sí? Cuando termina en conso un consonante más la Y. Excellent, yes. If the verb ends in a consonant plus Y, we said that we are going to change the Y to an I and add ES. Perfect. Uh, so what about if the verb ends in A plus Y or in a vowel plus Y? Play. Uh -huh. Say. Enjoy. Okay, so what are we going to do in that case? We have, to, we have to remove the Y and add I, E, S. Are you sure? No, for verbs that end in vowel and J. 
Why? We use add why. We use add s. Excellent. We just add s. Perfect. Just okay. okay. And what about what the other verbs? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. How, how about you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. It's kind of hot here, but I'm pretty good. Okay, teacher. Okay. Let me check where do I have that information. Here is it. Okay. So let me just share this with you again. Okay, so this is what we were studying last class. If you remember, we studied the conjugation and spelling for verbs in third person singular, okay? Cabe aclarar que eso es solamente para la tercera persona del singular. You already said for he, she, and it. And it's just for affirmative sentences, okay? Solo para oraciones afirmativas. So the first thing that I remember we said is that in general, in the third person, we add S, okay? Esto fue lo primero que dijimos, que para la, en general, para la tercera persona, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregar S, okay? So we have work that becomes, uh -huh. if I have work, ¿Cómo me quedaría work? Work. Work. Okay, excellent. Uh, if I have, uh, let me think in another, like. 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 Excellent. C. This. This. Okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, let's see another one. Spend. Spend. Spends. Okay. And how about sleep? Sleeps. Excellent. So that was the first thing that we studied last class. That in general we are going to add only yes. However, we said that the spelling for the verb will differ depending on the end. So if you remember, we read this rule. Let's see, just to remember. Um, let me see. Okay, Carlos, can you read it, please? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Go, catch, wash, kiss, pitch, bus. Okay. Dos, catch, wash. Watches, touches, watches, kisses, fixes, bosses. Okay, thank you. So if you remember, we said that if the verb ends in O, C, H, S, H, double S, X, or Z, we are going to add E, S, okay? That was the first thing we studied. Then, this is something that you already mentioned, that for verbs that end in a consonant plus Y, we're going to remove the Y and, add, and we're going to add IES. So let me see. Esmeralda, can you read the examples, please? Okay. Mary, Marries. Study, study. Carry, carries. Worry, worries. Excellent. And the last information, Selena. Play, play. Thank you. Okay, and the last thing that we mentioned was this, that for verbs that end in a vowel plus one, the only thing we're going to do is to add the S. Okay? So, questions so far? Preguntas? No? No. Okay. Okay, and this is something that you already know how to make affirmative and negative sentences using the simple present. As we were saying, uh, if we have the word, the verb, for example, work, like, 
do and have is in negative because we are using I, we, you, and they. We are going to use don't or do not. Okay? But for third person, as we already know, we are going to be applying the rules that we just studied. Okay? So we have words, likes, and has. Remember that this one is an irregular verb that doesn't follow the rules that we just studied. Este verbo es irregular. No sigue las, las reglas anteriores. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you can see that the base form is have, but in third person it's going to be has, okay? And for he, she and it, we're going to use doesn't or does not, okay? Alguna pregunta o duda? No? No. Okay, is everything clear for you? Yes. Okay, excellent. So how about questions? Do you remember how do we make questions in simple present tense? Uh-huh. Let's see, um, Brian, how do we make send questions? Sorry, how do we make questions using the simple present tense? It just, uh, yes? 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 Okay, so Brian, tell us. And the subject, the verb to be, and a complement. Is that with the present tense, simple present tense? Um, We're talking about questions in simple present tense. Pregunta. Ah, question. Okay. Yes. And WH questions, uh, auxiliary, the, the subject and the, the verb complement and the question mark. Excellent. So can you tell us an example, please? And... Where do you go to school? Excellent. So let's see, how would you answer that question, Daphne? Could you repeat the question, please? Okay, Brian. Where, you do, you, where do you go to school? And... I I I go to the school of San Salvador. Okay, so you go to San Salvador school? San Salvador school. Okay, thank you. So those well that was an example and open question. So how about yes no questions? How do we make yes no questions in that? B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Okay, excellent, Francisco. So can you tell us an example? Uh, uh, is she your sister? Okay, how would you answer that question, uh, Raquel? Yes, she is my sister. Okay, thank you. So what about with do and does? How do we make the yes, no questions? Um, let me see. 
Um, let's check who do I have here. Alex, can you read that information, please? Okay, teacher. Question. Do I, do I know? Do you know? Do we know? Do they know? Does he know? Does he know? Does he know? Okay, thank you. So the same when we are making negative statements, when we are making questions, we're going to use the auxiliaries do and does. And do, as we already studied, is going to be used only with I, you, we, and they. And does with he, she, and it. Just remember, since we are using the auxiliary, the verb is going to go back to its base form, okay? Any questions? Mm, yes? Nope. Ok, no sé si será porque estamos iniciando semana que lo siento algo apagaditos. Ok. Ok. So, we are going to continue with the information that we have at the platform and we are going to continue with this conversation. So, we're going to listen and we're going to practice it, ok? So, let's begin. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. Okay, so give me just a few seconds. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. Okay, sorry, but I think that I'm having some problems with my internet connection. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, so now what we are going what to do, do, you do is to practice. At least I'm going to need uh, like two or three groups. So do I have volunteers? Me too. Who said me? me? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. So I have Esmeralda and Alex. Let's begin with you. And then I think, um, I'm not sure if it was Carlos or Francisco, the me. one that's... Yes. Okay. Yes. So, thank you. Let's begin with Esmeralda and Alex. Okay. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? I oh, know. Yeah. Ahí va bien. Ah, ok. Yo, ¿Sigo yo entonces? Yes. No, okay. o sea, estamos ahorita con... Bueno, lo siento, los tengo así... No los, no los estoy viendo a ustedes ahorita, ¿verdad? Pero estamos con Alex y Esmeralda. Después vamos a seguir con Francisco y ya vamos a ver qué otro de sus compañeros, ¿ok? So let's begin again, please. Okay. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home? Sorry. When do you get I... home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight at play. What do you do exactly? 
I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on Ken and TV. Do you recognize me? How do you say recognize me? Okay. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Dania. Thank you. So we have Lazaro and let's see who else is going to participate with him. Let me see. I think we're going to have um, Daphne. Okay. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yes, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get when do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Excellent. And the last people that is going to participate right now, we have, let me see, Brenda and Josue Mauricio. Okay. Uh, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow. At that time, when do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? At that evening. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the water report on KNTV. Then you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love you show. By the way, I am Daniel. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So now that we have practiced this short conversation, I have the following question for you. Uh, you can see that we're working here. What time do you go to work? So if I ask, what time do you go to work? What is going to be your answer? Let's see, Jonathan, what time do you go to work? Uh, I work at uh, seven o'clock. Okay, at seven o'clock. Jonathan, make the question to any of your classmates, please. Uh, Gerardo, what time do you go to, to work? I work in H o'clock. Sorry, what time? H o'clock. H or A? H o'clock. Ah, okay, yes, be careful with pronunciation. Okay, so if we're talking about the number, this one, A, okay? Because if you said H, we're talking about the letter, okay? So you work or you start work at eight o'clock. Thank you. Gerardo, make the question to another classmate. Carlos. What time do you go to work? I work at 8 o'clock. Okay, Carlos, make the question to another person, please. Um, sure, um, she, la, la, me puede poner la pantalla, por favor. Okay, not a problem. Um, okay, 
So hold on because I already moved. Okay, so we have it here. Okay, what time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? I think it's a alguien pero creo que no están pero um Selena. Okay. What time do you go to work? I'm sorry, Selena, can you answer that question one more time, please? I work in the morning. Okay, you work in the morning. Excellent. Selena, make the question to another person. Brenda. Brenda. Perdón, no lo había escuchado. Okay, no, uh, Selena was asking you, what time do you go to work? Um, um, I work, I work seven in the morning. Seven in the morning, okay. At seven in the morning, thank you. And the last question, so make the question to one more person, please. Okay. What time do you go to work? Jose Mauricio. I work in the morning at seven o'clock. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Okay, so if you notice when you are making this question, you are using prepositions of time. What were the prepositions that you used? Can you tell me? Oh, God. Okay, you used at. In. In. On. 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 Who used on? Uh, in usual years. In months. Months. Uh huh. Days of the week. Days of the week. Of okay. The week. Okay. Excellent. So we have days and dates. What about at? When do we use it? At night, teacher. Okay. And a specific time? A specific time at night, as Carlos said, that is an exception. What else? Only? For okay. places? Places. Um, okay, yes, so. For example, I'm at home, at work. I don't know, I'm not sure about it, but I think that. <laughs> yes. Okay, at is a proposition that we can use also when we're talking about places, but right now we are studying the prepositions at, in, and on as prepositions of time, okay? So as you said, at is going to be used with a specific time, also you mentioned at night, on, you said with days and date, and how about in? In the morning. Okay, in the morning. What else? In the afternoon. In the afternoon, okay. Months and years. Month and years, perfect. What else? Okay, so let's study that. You can see that this is the, the video, the next video we have in the platform that is about prepositions 
of place. So let's watch the video and then we are going to be discussing about it, okay? Let me know if you can listen, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions, such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In, this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Seven. Okay, so you can see that first of all, we have time expressions. Um, let me see who hasn't participated. Mm, let me check. Okay, so probably all of you already, no, Gabriela, can you read the examples, please? The first three examples. I get up at seven. Yeah, if you can see is all these. I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. Continue with the I second one. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weekends. Weeknights. Weeknights? Okay. And the next one? Okay. I for early in the afternoon in weeks on weekends on weekends thank you uh, francisco can you read the last three please i get home late at night on fridays i stay up until midnight on saturdays i wake up before noon before noon on Sundays or I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Thank you. And expressing clock time. Let's see. We're going to have Esmeralda. Can you read that information, please? Seven. Seven, seven o'clock. Uh, seven a.m and 7 in the morning, 7 p.m., and 7 in the evening. Okay, thank you. So what if I ask to you, what time do you get up on Sundays? Let's see, let's make that question to, let me check. Gerardo, what time do you get up on Sundays? I get up at 7 a.m. Really? On Sundays? Yes. 
Okay. So make the question to Mauricio, please. Marie, Mauricio, what time do you get up on Sunday? I get up at six in the morning on Sunday. Wow, on six in the morning. Yeah. Wow, too early. Okay, Mauricio, make the question to Alex. Alex, I get up. No, the question. Quick question. Yes. Do you get up on a Saturday? Uh huh, Alex. Okay, Maurice. Can you repeat the question? What, what time do you get up on a Saturday? I get up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? Saturday. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you're making me think about myself. ¿Qué temprano se levantan ustedes? Saturday because... Saturday because I, I have to work. Okay. But Sunday depends if I need if I work. I get up at six o'clock. But if I don't work, I get up eleven o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So let's see. One more question. What time do you go to bed, um, Jonathan? Uh, repeat, please. Yes. What time do you go to bed? Um, I I go I go to my bed at nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. Okay. Thank yes. you. Make the question to another person, please. Uh, what time uh, do you go to bed? Right? Yes. Um, ¿Y a quién le hizo esa pregunta? Oh, sorry. Uh, Francisco, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10 o'clock. Okay, excellent. And make the question to another person, Francisco, por favor. Raquel, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed 11 p.m. I go to bed? 11 p.m. At? At 11 p.m. Okay, thank you. Excellent. So let's continue. Okay, if you remember, you can see that we What time did you go to? I'm sorry, continue, Raquel. Okay. What time did you, did you go to bed? Carlos? I go to bed 11 p.m. At uh, 11 p.m. Okay, but did you listen to her question? Escucho la pregunta. Yes, teacher. And what did she say? I go to bed. She said did. Ah, excellent. What time did you go to bed? Uh huh. So, how would you answer that question? Uh, I went. I went to bed at eleven. At eleven. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. We. 
these questions, when we're asking about time, you can say at 11 p.m. And that one is correct. So you can say at 11 p.m. and it is considered correct. Or you can say at midnight for the ones that sleep late at midnight and so on okay perfect so let's continue uh we were talking about time expressions you could see that we have at in and on and as some of you expressed we have that at this proposition of time is used to discuss unspecific time and we have the exception that is at night okay es la única excepción que tenemos at night so when we're talking about time, specific time, what time do you have classes? At 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Okay. Yes. Excellent. What time do you go to bed? At Anyone? 10, at 10 p.m. Okay. At midnight at 10 p.m. Okay, excellent. And what time do you have breakfast? At 9 a.m. Okay, excellent. And let's see the last question. What time do you have lunch? At 12. Okay, at 12 or? O'clock. Okay, excellent. At 12 o'clock. What is another way to say? 1 p.m. Okay, at 1 p.m. Okay, perfect. So let's see the next preposition, in. Uh, it says that this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, month, and years, okay? So there are some examples. Uh, let me see. Uh, Daphne, can you read the examples, please? Uh, the first one, the first one. The first, well, the examples we have here. Okay, we examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in, Mexico in 1989. Excellent. Thank you. So you can see that here we have the examples. We have classes in the morning. Or you can tell me that you go to work in the morning. My graduation is in June. Uh, I went to Mexico in 1989. So as it says, we're going to use in when we are discussing general times of day, okay? No sé si hasta acá tienen preguntas o si todo está claro. It's okay. Okay, easy, right? Yeah. So. Okay. So, and the last one that we have is on. It says that this preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week and specific days. So, for example, Raquel, can you read them, please? We will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. This mass is on December 25. 20? Five. Uh -uh. How do you read this number? If. Um, 20? Fifth. 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 Twenty fifth. 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 Okay, 25th. excellent. Yes. Okay, remember that when we are using um, ordinal numbers, we're going to use them with dates, okay? So, excellent. So when we use on, we're using it to discuss, to discuss every 13 days of the week or specific dates. 
So if I ask, when is your birthday? That is a specific day. When is your birthday, Josué Mauricio? Is it's a sixteen? Okay, but can you use on, please? Can you give us the specific day? A, a, a Christmas is no your on. birthday. My my birthday my my birthday. Mm -hmm. Is September 8th. Excellent. It's on September 8th. Thank you. Uh, who can tell me when is New Year's Eve? Uh huh. Repeat the question, please. Yes, let me just write it here to you. Okay, so the question is, when is New Year's Eve? Uh-huh. It's on December 31st. Excellent, it's on December 31st. Okay, excellent. Um, I just need you to tell me if this is clear for you or if you have questions about the use of prepositions of time. Teacher, I have a question. Okay. When I talked about the noon, uh, we wa, uh, we use the preposition at. Correct. At noon. You can use it at um, noon, at night, at, sorry, at midnight. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Those are the exceptions. If you remember, we said that we use in the morning, in the afternoon and you can also say in the evening but when we're talking about night we're going to use at the same happens with noon at midnight okay another question no no. No. Okay, so is everything clear for you? No questions? Seguro que no hay preguntas? Okay. Okay, so give me just a few seconds. I'm just looking for some additional information that I have. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so just to make it everything clear for you, I have here this chart about prepositions of time. This is something that we've been studying right now. And so you can see the examples, the uses, and the prepositions. So we have at. Um, Jonathan, can you read it, please? Um, examples. The uses. First of all, the ah, uses. uses. Okay. So, times. Holiday per periods at night, at the weekend, at lunch, uh, pardon, 
at lunch time, at dinner time, at breakfast time. Thank you. And the examples, let's see, uh, Brian. At 8 p.m., at midnight, at 6, 30, at Christmas, at Easter. Thank you. Um, Brian, choose another person, please. Esmeralda. Okay, Esmeralda. The next one on. Excuse me. Days, days, morning, afternoon, evening, night, date. Okay, Esmeralda, can you choose another person, please? The uses. Choose another person. Escoja otra persona. Ah, excuse me. Um, let me see. Selena. Okay, Selena. I'm sorry, Selena, but I can barely hear you. No, we are here on. Yes. Okay, thank you, Selena. Another person, please. Who? Gabriela. Ah, okay, Gabriela. Hello. In years, months. The case. The case. Centuries. Seasons. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. Thank you. Gabriela, can you choose another person, please? Gerardo. Okay, Gerardo. In, in 1992, in 26, in December, in John, in the 60th, 60s, in 90s, in the uh -huh, in, in the, the 17 nineties. 17 or 19. Ah, sorry, 17 nineties. In the 17th century. In the winter, in summer. Okay. Uh, what number is this? Sorry. Gerardo? Hello? Tuve okay. problemas con la conexión, pero ya volví. Ah, sorry. Okay, so which number did you say is this one? In the ninetieth, ninetieth, in the nineteenth century. Okay, thank Nine. you. Hola. Okay, uh, so you can see that here we have it like uh, we have the prepositions at, on, and in. And we have the uses and some examples. Pueden ver que lo tenemos un poquito más detallado, in more detail. Okay, so questions?
preguntas hasta acá o está todo plan? No. ¿Por qué en la parte donde dice, en la preposición in, aparece 60x? Ah, 60x. Ah, porque estamos hablando de lo que son las décadas. Ok, you can see that we're talking about years, hablamos de lo que son años. And we have it here in 1992, in 2006, month, December, we have in December, in June, then we have decades, tenemos lo que son las décadas, we are talking about the 60s and the 19th, sorry, the 1790s. Um, have you studied plurals? ¿Ya estudiaron los plurales? En números, no. En números no. Ok, and do you remember a rule for plurals? No? No. Ok, so let me just look for that information. Okay, yeah, because as the one that we studied before, we, or the simple present, uh, there are some other rules that we are going to be studying as well for plurals. So let me just take a look to that. Déjenme buscar eso ahorita. Pero antes de continuar, ¿hay alguna pregunta o duda? No. Preguntas. Vaya, con la plataforma, ¿tienen preguntas? No, teacher. No. So it's a Okay. So no questions. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Voy a déjenme ver si encuentro esa información para compartírsela ahorita. I don't think I have it. Pero déjenme ver si la tengo acá. Okay, I'm just looking for it. No, I just have to look it up. La voy a tener que buscar. Ahí se la quedo debiendo. But there is a rule that we have for plural nouns that it's similar to the one that we studied for simple present. Tenemos una regla que es igual, ¿verdad? Que dice que si el sustantivo termina en una, ¿qué? En una consonante más Y, sustituyo lo que es la Y y lo hago o le agrego IES. ¿Ok? Pero si el sustantivo termina en vocal más la Y, solamente le agrego, le agrego S. Por ejemplo, tengo voy. You can see, vowel, Y, solo agrego S. But if I have story, tengo consonante Y, Entonces elimino lo que es la Y y agrego IES. Yes. Ok. Es similar a las reglas que acabamos de ver, solo que con sustantivos. Voy a buscar esa información y se la voy a compartir, ok? Ok. Ok. So, any other question that you may have? Otra pregunta. Ok, go ahead. A platform teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. what happened? Uh, and section two, uh, two point eleven. Two point eleven. Number four. Number I don't four. Know, 
Number four. Okay, he goes to bed at. ¿A qué hora se va a la cama? Yeah. I don't know. No, no, listen, teacher. You couldn't listen to that. Okay, so let me see how long is it. Déjeme ver cuánto es que dura el, el audio. Uno, uno y algo. Va, permítame. Entonces ahorita. So let's listen. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. What time did he say? What time did he say, sorry? ¿A qué hora dijo? 1 a.m. Ah, at 1 a.m. Or 1 in the morning, okay? ¿Y ya intentó con oh. esa respuesta? ¿Cómo? Es a la misma que Carlos me hacía falta. Le digo que no he intentado con eso. No he intentado con eso. Ah, lo siento, pero casi no se le escucha. Teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. Why I am? At one. You can only write at one. At one. I am. Yes. One a.m. Okay. okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Otra pregunta. No. No. No, oh, teacher. Okay, so that's going to be all for today. Thank you for coming and see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Okay. See you. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. See you.